Hey everybody, NBC5 weather forecaster Brigham Harris here. Excited to give you a quick look at the forecast for this upcoming week as we take a look at the almanac and how it compares to the temperatures that we had today and into tonight. Not nearly as cold as it was in 1924. She, she got down to nine degrees. Luckily, uh, we were not there in 1953. It was also 65 degrees for the high. That's a that's a mild spring day uh, in Utah where I'm from. But let's look at the six hour satellite radar. Uh, this is what we've been seeing all day today. A lot of cloud cover um, out over here in Klamath Falls. Not as much cloud cover, so temperatures are going to be expected to drop there. This is some precipitation coming in from a system that is out over the Pacific Northwest right now. Uh, this is what we're looking at as far as relative humidity goes. This is why a lot of places are actually still warmer right now. It's because we have this humid uh, water vapor still in the air. That's because a lot of clouds that are covering us are trapping the warmth down along the coast. You can see a lot of humidity rising, whereas Roseburg, you can see there not as much humidity and they uh, should be experiencing some pretty cold temperatures right now. Into the satellite radar, this is what we have also seen if we took a step back and looked at that system over the Pacific Northwest. Seattle and Portland are mostly getting the brunt of that storm, but we are going to be getting some precipitation from this front. If we take a look, you can see that Eugene just north of Medford, so Roseburg is going to be getting some off the coast. Should it be expecting quite a bit of rain in the next couple of days, but there will be some days for sunshine. Uh, if we look at our 48 hour rainfall forecast, this is what we should expect as far as wet weather. Uh, if you look at Roseburg, looks like it's going to be getting, oh, that went away. Looks like Roseburg will be getting the brunt of it. Um, and then the coast should also should be seeing uh, some winter, or excuse me, some rainfall as well, uh, maybe up to even a couple of inches. It hasn't been seeing much. Looks like most of uh, the rainfall has been down in Crescent City. But if we look at our pinpoint forecast for right now, this is what we should be expecting in the next few days. Sunday should be gathering a little bit of that precipitation and some more cloud cover. Uh, into tomorrow morning and then actually we're going to see all that dissipate quite a bit as this front weakens and then it arrives uh, a separate front will arrive Monday um, afternoon around three o'clock that'll make landfall and then this is where we should be seeing a lot of precipitation Roseburg now oh, that went away again sorry about that and then the coast is also going to be seeing some precipitation speaking of that tonight and tomorrow uh, the coast should be expecting some light rain this is a chance of rain and tomorrow it's not going to be that intense of rain but there are going to be some winds so the combination of rain and winds together sometimes is a cause for concern when it comes to driving or when it comes to any other sort of outdoor conditions. Now, if we look at the West Valleys, this is what we have to expect. Also chances of rain, not a major uh, or dense chance of rain, as we say. And then tomorrow, just mostly cloudy. Uh, it is going to be clearing up in the next couple of days, and then some more precipitation will follow um, from separate fronts. Now, if we look at the east of the Cascades, temperature is actually pretty warm uh, this time of year, especially for Alturas, Christmas Valley, and the eastern part of the state. Uh, tonight and tomorrow, kind of the same thing. There will be some snow to expect if you are at very high elevation. It was uh, above 6,500 feet, so nothing like we were expecting last weekend when we got all that snow and rainfall. Take a look at our seven-day forecast for the Rogue Valley. These are our temperatures. Again, it is going to be clearing up later on the week, which is going to cause the temperatures to drop. You can see there Wednesday and Thursday will be in the 20s. Same thing for Klamath Basin. You'll see those temperatures drop after the clouds dissipate and we don't have uh, as much of that humidity in the air. 17 and 14 for Wednesday and Thursday. Northern California, about the same thing again. Temperatures drop Wednesday and Thursday and then uh, spike back up right around Christmas time. We are going to be seeing quite a bit more cloud cover than rain in Northern California, but the coast, again, the only two sunny days are really the 23rd and Christmas Eve. Other than that, expect some rain in your forecast.